Okay, I think we've gone live live. Uh, I've got my big webcam on at the moment just to uh, hide my screen while I check the stream on here. Um, just because I don't know if there's any information that I need to hide, so I've got my big webcam on for the moment. I will stop over in a second. Uh, but essentially, we're streaming randomly on a Thursday, and that's because um, the other day my van broke down. And long story short, I uh, I don't don't have any work at the moment because well I I'm a delivery driver, and if I don't have a van to work, I can't work. And so because of that. I might as well spend time making videos or streaming or whatever until I can get all that fixed and go back into working normally. And so I wanted to get into streaming again anyway, and I kind of just didn't know which, uh, well, what things to do for like streaming. And GeoGuess is one of the things that I would like to do for streaming, but there's also some other like options I've got in my head all to do with like Poland because at the moment I'm very fascinated with Poland and Polish language of course as I have been since the beginning of my study with the language and um, yeah I've been watching like YouTube videos recently on like Poland as well and I, I feel like I'm gonna maybe do some more streams in the coming weeks of me kind of just looking at other uh, videos to do with like Poland but at the moment it feels like everything's going well if there are any issues let me know in the in the chat i appreciate no one's here at the moment it's a very um unplanned stream this but i will or i believe i can uh, get rid of these tabs and then i'll be able to go full screen um uh, but i won't be able to see the chat actually so maybe maybe i can leave this one open there's no information on here which will i'm just checking for information that will be bad if i streamed it but it doesn't seem like there's any bad information cool anyway we're going to go over here i won't be able to see comments unless i go over there let's go on to this screen and press f11 so we go full screen and hopefully there's no issues there and as soon as i can i will be getting the stream up on my ipad i think in the meantime what i can do actually is get up on my phone while I'm still talking to you guys, I'll mute my phone completely. Um, okay, something weird about my GeoGuessr account as I get this stream up on my uh, on my phone, if I can figure out how to. I logged into my GeoGuessr account here on my computer. My new computer, by the way, I've got a brand new computer and it's the first time I've been using GeoGuessr on this computer. So hopefully I should be able to see comments now if any come through on my phone. All being well. Um, so, I got a new computer. I built it just before Christmas. Uh, it was kind of like a Christmas present to myself. First time I've logged into GeoGuessr um, on this new computer. Previously, I was using it on my Apple Mac, which is what I used previously to like stream and whatnot. And uh, I haven't actually played GeoGuessr in maybe two or three years, whenever I last uploaded a video of GeoGuessr on YouTube anyway. And uh, yeah, I was like, the hell? Why is my profile called MM? And why am I level 43? That doesn't seem right. And uh, before I click on my profile, I'm just going to hide it again because I, I don't actually know this is going to give away information that I don't want to give away, such as like email addresses and stuff. We're all good. So if I go on my profile, we have this. If I go full screen again, we have this. Um, I'm a level 43 pro Voyager MM from Russia uh, in the silver division, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I'm like, the hell, I've not, I've not built up my character to this level. And the only thing I can kind of get from this is that for some reason, some Russian dude like hacked me and just started like up in my profile. Um, I've got like these 2023 glasses on uh, my uh, character. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, I don't think I've done as many as 190 games in all of my uh, thing. I, d I don't really know. I'm like really confused at this. But anyway, this is my current thing. I can't be bothered to really edit my avatar right now. Um, but I'm 100% on my own profile because I've gone through and changed my password now to something a little bit more um, strong. So I, I was just a bit confused why someone has even done that to my profile. But thank you, I guess. But I was kind of annoyed because I wanted to rank up myself. But... It was a bit confusing, but we have everything here, and I've literally just set up a stream, and that's where we are now, so I'm a little bit like new to this all, um, 
liked maps, my maps, achievements. Um, yeah, see, it's just got me a bunch of achievements since I last played. What the hell? Um, okay. Let's go back. I don't know how to change any of this. Edit avatar, but that's literally just avatar. There's no, uh, like, edit name. So, that's the profile. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, maybe go on account, but that's going to show information that I don't want to show. Let's go back to the home page. Cool. So, I'm aware that GeoGuessr has like this new mode called World Cup 24. I think that's, it's to do with like this traveling thing with a passport and around the world in 80 days or something. Or around the world in one day. I'm not quite sure. 80 hours. I don't know. It's something like that. I don't want to do that right now because I just want to do Poland. Single player. Oh. Medium difficulty. He, okay. Let's try classic maps. Um, and it seems like... Have I played Poland before? I think I actually have. Um, but I remember a lot of the time... I forgot all about that. But I remember a lot of the times... Uh, Poland gave me, right, we don't, we don't want a time limit. A lot of the times Poland gave me, uh, kind of like more rural areas than this, to be honest. So, my, my goal today is two things. One, just to kind of, <laughs> like, enjoy playing GeoGuessr and to find, hopefully, new locations that maybe I can keep in my head when I go to Poland next time, because I... I really want to go to Poland and yeah, I, I need I need more ideas for places to go and obviously two to get the 25,000 points so for me to get 25,000 points means that obviously I need to pinpoint where we are here in this town or village here in Poland so we're just going to go. I haven't played GeoGuessr at all on this, um, on this computer and we're just going to go for it and explore Poland virtually while so trying to pick up clues of uh, where we are and at the same time I get to like read the Polish language as well and uh, kind of like try and figure that out uh, in my head um, so there's something there to do with I think building materials uh, and obviously the figures kind of give that away energy 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 uh, lid all as well which may be useful for us to pinpoint they got an impost um, Hopefully we need to find some kind of sign that gives us the, uh, the uh, name of the town, village, and then I'll need to actually find it. My, my, my knowledge of geography in Poland is pretty good, but it's, I mean, villages, I don't really know any, so it'll be fun for me to try and pinpoint where everything is. Um, that's not anything too important, and I'm hoping you also cannot hear my mouse clicking if you can, I'm sorry, um, yeah, there's not really much I can do about that, so, we've got nothing here, I should really just go down the road and find like actual road signs, but I'm also quite enjoying like just looking at these kind of uh, signs and just giving, seeing, seeing what they kind of say here, so, going down. We've got Via Dronka here as well. We've got nothing. I think that says everyday low prices. If I'm not mistaken. Um, that's literally just Via Dronka, nothing there. This is nothing to do with location. Ashtor Benedict 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 Um okay. Nothing here. I don't think. We got the name Ulice Jagielonska Va. Is near Polomice. Is near Polomice the name of the town? I've never heard of Neapolonica, so that's going to be quite difficult for me to find. I see it. 
Niepołomice, ulice Kolejowa. another Ulitsa there as well in Neapolomitsa. Alright, so that is the name of the town, village, whatever that we are in. I don't recognize Neapolom... Neapolom... What was it? Neapolomitsa. 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 Um, that's my shame. Something split. Nothing of interest here. We can even go left or right. Oh, okay. See, this is more useful. Although I haven't, I haven't heard. Well, maybe I've heard of uh, this place here, but Bielichka. Not too sure. I think this place is pronounced like Shorova, Shorova, or something like that. Shorova. Sometimes the FZCZ combination is a little difficult. But I can say it in places like Chechen, but not other places, but yeah. Place names in Poland can be quite difficult. What are we doing? Let's just have a look at the signs here. It's actually going to take me ages to get a perfect score, by the way. Oh, Krakow. That was kind of the corner I was going to look in. So we've got Krakow. Uh, kind of apparently in the northwest area, um, which would put us maybe down this kind of area. We're also looking for the 964, which is a yellow road, which I'm not quite sure what that means. It's some, it's some kind of like semi main road, I think. But from there, uh, we're looking not bad. I mean, we could be, from my calculation, kind of anywhere here, but we don't really have any, any uh, indication of how far in terms of like miles that we are. Um, I need to keep in mind the place names that we've seen on the map, so just having a quick look, and actually yeah, the 964 is probably something I need to zoom in a bit more on to find that, so it's these kind of maps here, and from a quick inspection, I know it's an SZCZ place name. So we've got a larger map that's more useful. Um, where do we think we are in relation? So Krakow is northwest. So we could literally, oh, Bielichka is here. Bielich, and that's apparently just literally southwest from where we currently are. I would imagine, okay, 
so we're on the 964, which goes around here. We could be somewhere kind of this direction. Bialyche goes in the southwest, and we've also got, oh, Neapol means there. There we go. I forgot that was the name of our town. So now we just need to find. Um, let's go back to here because I forget the name of the roads. Oh, uh, yeah, Ulisa Koleova. Ulisa Koleova. Also, we have what do we have? Of course, the Lidl and the Biedronka, which is going to help. So, just have a little look for the Lidl or Biedronka. So what have we got? I'm just going to Lidl's there. Biedronka should be here, I think. No, that's the roundabout, so Biedronka should be there. <coughs> but we're on a different road. Yadichka Road. Kwashovska. Kwashovska. And from a very rudimentary guess, I would say that we were like there somewhere. If, if, if this all matches up, although I think Lidl's on the wrong side. Let's just have a little look to see if we got like a, another Lidl. Because maybe they've got multiple Lidl Lidl's from like town. sense kind of because we do have a Biedronka nearby, we do have 964 just there and it is also called the Bielichka. Um or Bielichka actually. So let's go back down here and remind myself of what is down here because Lidl was on the left hand side but the map is saying it's on the right hand side which is kind of what's throwing me up a little bit. Just have a look to see if we've got See, that's a different street name than what we got there because it's a banner advertising the business on a different road. So, oh yeah, en energy. Yep, some kind of energy. We've got a tire shop behind the little, and we've got a taxi, which is actually back towards the vehicle. shop back here. Doesn't look like it. Let us... Okay, what I can do is go back towards here. We've got a bend in the road that goes around to the right, which is how this is laid out. And we've got a couple of bus stops apparently. This is our start point. We're right next to this mini road. Uh, there's one bus stop and there's the other. So I assume we're just there. We make the guess. We are within zero meters. That is, <laughs> I'll take that for, I don't even know how long it's been since we first started the first round. The stream has been going on. I don't even know how long, it doesn't tell me. Um, but that's good, that is very good. We will take that and we'll move on to the next round. And here is again another round which maybe I can get. Um, oh, our schedule, last I know our schedule, but I can't remember where our schedule is. I've certainly heard of our schedule before. Uh, last means forest. So I'm assuming. Oh, no, it's Ulisse. 
people need stuff or shadow less. So that's the name of street uh, or shadow forest. So maybe we're in our shadow. We'll have a little exploration and see what we can find. But that was a very useful first clue. Obviously, I've just started this one, but I know that's a really poor quality. I don't even know what blueberry bush. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way in terms of like there's not really many clues down here. Ooh, tell a lie. There's houses that came out of nowhere. downhill and I think oh Marhova Marhova um yeah normally it's better to go like downhill typically that's where like more likely you're gonna find their settlements and I've decided to go this way apparently I can't go any further this way I wanna go in explore um Place called Chana, but I can't remember the area in Poland where it is. And when you don't know the area, it can be a bit tricky. Because Poland is uh, quite a big place. I see other place called Chana. I know that's the name of the place. But my issue here is I've gone so far out to try and retrace back. Here we go again. Charna Vitosa, ah, Mielets, uh, which tells me we're down here somewhere. This is Mielets. But I don't know about Charna. Uh, I don't see it here, maybe we need to zoom a bit more. That's kind of like we've got one office over here, another office over here, which if so is kind of a red herring a little bit. Hey, 
is to say it's um, nowhere near here. And I don't see a chart on Earth, and I don't want to spend ages just looking at the map trying to find one place. like this is a completely different area and that's kind of like they got two offices in two parts of the country. Um, China, that was not included on the 100 cities so it's not I've heard of Chardonnay, but I, I don't know where it is you know, on the map. And unfortunately, you stepped it. I don't think. Uh, yeah, okay, we've, we've confirmed that there. I've seen this place before on the map. I've spent a long time looking at Poland on the map over the last few years. Um, okay, also we did see Oshedl, so let's look down, I think Oshedl was this way, isn't it? Or am I completely wrong with that? Could be a bit further down, Oshedl. Because I know that was the name of the street, but maybe that kind of would give an idea of where Charno is. I'll see it. like the main road so if I'm gonna get any kind of clues as to like all oh, Krakow 200 kilometers this way for example then it's gonna be along this road somewhere or on one of like the offshoot roads so oh yeah we had this one but I don't okay well actually that's just Quickly thing, Rad Radom, and we have Radomsko as well, which is in this area. Where about is Radom? There's Radomsko. This way. 
I would have thought Radon was more popular than Radon's goal, but I could be wrong. Oh, okay, we are in Mielitz. Near at least because Radom Radomil Radom Michel, how do you say that? Rad, Rad, Radom Michel, I think. Bielki, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I wasn't sure if it's Bielko Polska, but it would have, or Bielka Polska, maybe, but it would have had like part of the Polska word in the abbreviation, but anyway. We need to have a look. I would probably, let, let's drop the marker back down. A little bit stumped right now. It's where the lack of experience, I guess, with this game.
find my hover. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Okay. I've got the wrong there. Uh, I thought Bradom was like this way, but it's actually saying it's straight ahead. So if we reevaluate that, we could be down here. It's saying straight ahead, which kind of puts us more here. Charna, there we go. Because I looked left. So I was looking towards Mahova. So Mahova is left of where we are. We, so Mahova should be down this way somewhere. Oh, and there we go, Mahova. God, I got my directions completely mixed up there. No wonder I was getting confused. But we need to find this place. So from the direction of the road, we'll just ah. Uh, what's it called? False Diego. We're not there, are we? So we got a name of this road? Probably not. Oh yeah, of course, we tossed that we're looking for, so that's not that. Leshna, we came up this road. Oshela Las, okay. But Oshela Las goes around all there, so we have to return to start all the way back here to Oshela Las. We're next to this, which helps. And that's completely straight. I would like to go back down the road we came. We've got a bend in the road. Could we be there? Like there. We've got a bend in the road, and if we go around the bend, and we've got an option to kind of just go that way or this way, then I'm happy. And we've got an option to go that way or this way. This goes around kind of like in two, but I don't know if we're going to see that on this map. But that should go around. up with this road again, back over here somewhere, hopefully. Just there? Oh, we jumped loads. Well, I'm going to say this looks to be the right place. Should I go... This goes up and to the left, up and to the left by the looks of it. I mean, it's got to be in it. Yes. Nice. 5,000 points. We've got 10,000. We are apparently 8 minutes. Eight meters away, but we got the point, so it doesn't matter. We're at a fork. Is this what you call a fork? We're at a, a Y junction or something. Got an option to go left or right. And uh, well, we're actually in the middle of one, two, three different roads, and we're just at that. So that's going to be quite useful. Got a shop and not a lot else. But maybe Sklep or Gornosh Pozic Pozic Pozic. Maybe that will be on the map. Who knows? Um, I guess let's go and explore this area. It's going to be quite hard for me to find. Although... Jek. Um... <sighs> I've never heard of Jek before, but we're four... We're four kilometres away. Imagine we're in a place called Koitritne. 
two kilometers away from Cromero. 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 Um, these are all really tiny plates of these. And this is where I'm going to struggle, I think, even more so. Although, this looks like a bit more of a main road. Alright, let's see if we can um, find out any information about this road whatsoever without it glitching out. What's this truck say? Alright, let's just hope that we get something soon. The worst part of GeoGuessr is when you just click for ages. I don't know this river name, but maybe we can get a, that's a pistol there. Maybe we can get a good idea of roughly where we are. But I feel like this area is probably more like Melbourne, but that's a complete guess. That's still the Pistola River. No gaps. Greatest idea to try and find the river de mer, de mer even. But I thought uh, it'd be a bit more fun to try and find a river. Is there still part of you know, the, the San River that meets the Pistola? Near Helm, anywhere? No rivers in Helm. Okay, I may have to continue searching. River runs the Polska and is that Ukrainian? No, Belarusian border. Apparently, this was another name in Essex, maybe the same one, I don't know, uh, but it's not the one that we're looking for. River, it could easily be like a lagoon or some other kind of like waterway, but I thought maybe going through to recheck this river faster. Okay, 
okay. I thought maybe it would be in like a big city or something. Oh, that's got a nice long name. That's very Polish of them to do that. Um, let's check this place. This has... So easy to pronounce. Okay, well, something like that. Maybe the C's will actually be potentially silent. Let's just go back and have a look at the D there. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, that's got to be so tiny. Okay, we continue on our hunt for some kind of sign to give us a clue. I'm hoping actually this road would have given us some good clues, but oh. so this is a logistics from Deutschland, which tells me that it's more possible that it's towards this kind of direction, more towards like this border. It doesn't have to be; they could have easily travelled through a different country, but we're more likely to see across. The so it could be like Yelena Gorda, for example. Yelena? Yelena Gorda, even. Um, but I'm not going to continually try and look for... Oh, they've got a river up there. What about Ubre. River Ubre. Yeah, I'm not going to continually look, look for like a small river anyway, but it's good to know. As we continue, we found no sign whatsoever. Try and get a good read on this. Polskie nas, Naciona Traf. I'm not quite sure if that's giving away a place name or not. I think Traf is grass, you know, Polskie, Polish grass or something. We've got a place name here, and Maki's rescue us. far from our spawn point. We originally spawned in a very desolate location and we've, we've just gone miles out of the way to try and find some kind of road sign. Or even something to indicate what road this is. We need clues. Dr. L. single 
not really. It kind of interests me anyway to like look at other things while I'm here. Look at like surrounding areas. But right. Well, I didn't mean that you want to go here. We've got food place two kilometers. And what do we have here? Mala, mala. If any of those are like place names, I've not heard of any of them. But also, we could be nowhere near. Varshavska. I really don't know. This one is indicating that maybe we're near Warsaw, Warszawska, 15-2, and it's some kind of like Exaro or something. I'm not quite sure the 15-2, what that means, if that's like an, the exit on the motorway. Not even motorway, is it just off the road? Once we find where we are, we need to do some serious backtracking. Gustav, we're miles north. Oh, this is very good to see. This is very, very good to see. Uh, Chich, no. How do we say this? Chich, 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 no. Chich, no, I think. How am I saying that? Why? Chich, Chich, no. Biskupiec. Biskupiec is what I've been seeing in Bartosz. Bartosz. Why can I not speak today? Bato Shitse. Bato Shitse. Augustov is the big clue here. Augustov is here. 16 runs this way through Augustov and this way. And I just have a feeling that we must have come from this way, but let's just um, let's see. So Augustov is saying it's this direction, which is roughly in the east. We're heading east towards Augustov. We come from this direction somewhere, probably there, maybe. Oh, the other way was Elk. So if we keep going on the 16 for long enough, we'll end up in Lithuania. Fun fact. So.
honest, it's already taught me that at 57, looking at these places, 57. Maybe I don't need to even find that out anyway. Hmm. Actually, I just remembered the river Demir. We need to find. And I think Augustov was one of the places we actually zoomed into as well. So hopefully, because some of these rivers are not actually showing. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Can we go this far? I don't. It's hard to tell how far you've gone in miles when, uh, like, it's possible. Like, if you cross the river Demir there, but it's so small. things I could have done. But we either crossed it there, just there, or there, which means we would have come up a bit further up. But then 16 goes at this roundabout in a different direction, so towards the Olshtin Airport, Olshtin Mazuri, and that goes towards, oh, interesting, Ogrudniki Elk, Augusta, Poland, possibly Lithuania, but it's like been rubbed out a little bit, but that, if that goes towards Elk, this way actually there's no oh man this is why I need to find the 57 I'm, I'm an idiot uh, what's to say we're so close to our stop we we could be on the 16 miles this way
and the 57. The 57, I think, is going to be the easiest way. Here's the 57. We're actually over here. Fiscal kit. Fiscal kit. I'm a little bit confused. I, the, the coordinates are all really mixed up for me. So this is the point of which you go towards 57. Have a little look down here, get a bit of a better picture. So But it's a 16 towards Olshtin. Which is there, the 16. So I assume we're kind of at this junction here. For us being uh, near the German border, there was just a little hedge. Olshtin. Very big chest view right there. And we, we do have another round up there. Yeah. 
yeah, so we actually came from this direction. We crossed it there. Turn to start and like refresh my mind on what we're doing here. What we're doing this for we've done. I feel like we're gonna hit dead end any moment. Just walk here around, go down there, and just come up. So it is a dead end. Dead end kind of place. Then. 
Um, be a crossing here. That's way too close to... Oh my god. I'm very confused. That's why something like this looked more appealing. We were there. What's this? Oh, that's slip. But then 
that we went up there and we came across the river the very time, I don't know. And then Oh, I don't know. Northeast to east. which I've not seen at all on the map, by the way. <sighs> not at all. But we've got to be in this area. Jack, I'm such an idiot. This, this is why it was so confusing for me because there were signs pointing towards um, Augusto and Elk and this place. <laughs> right, okay. over the side of the river, on this side of the road, but like very, not for very long. We started literally just there and I'm very confident of that now. Wow, that took so long. I don't even know how long. Let's see how long we've been streaming for. An hour and 18, give or take. And one around three, although well, I did do a bit of an intro. So we came up there, that's the crossroads, we came down here. But my, my sense of direction, I guess, was all up there. But I'm very happy with that. Let's just return to start just to double check. So we've got the Y with that. Probably a little bit more like this, but I'm happy. 5,000. Man, that took so long. That took so long. I need a drink. Yes. 
Rusty Borbs go. Where the hell is Rusty, Rusty Borsch? Because I imagine Rusty Borsch is here, Rusty Borsch go. We've got a lot of clues here though. I don't want this round to last as long as the last two. Ahoy, no. Museum of Skunk Nicky Gorne. We've got a delicatessen center. Jeshotari, Jeshotari even, is quite a small place.
black hole is over here. So could do with finding maybe Zbid Neil if I can say it. Zbid Neil Vita. Zbid Neil Vita. Zbid Neil Vita. Um, which could just be a really small place.
music is that? Do you make music? So there is, I didn't even realise. Thank you for letting me know. I'll turn that off completely. Thank you, Raphael, for letting me know. I, uh, I've i just played five rounds, or four rounds even, uh, with music, which I didn't even know was there. Much better. Cool. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I haven't streamed in a long time, and uh, I haven't played GeoGuessr in years, so... Um, yeah. I um, I guess apologies for the music being too loud. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be a lot better now. So what do we have around here? I thought they were... Oh, no, it is. Kuri. We have Kuri. And we have... Uh, I don't even know what animal these are. Turkeys, are they? I never... Alright, so we should be able to get this now. If we go the right direction. Which I'm not quite sure this is. Let's go. We're in, like, farmer land somewhere. With what seems to be nowhere near mountains, so that's good to know. We shouldn't be south southwest of Poland, but I'm not going to cut off those uh that area too quickly indiki indiki cool thank you i did not know that indiki which is turkey i wasn't quite sure even if they were indiki but um they kind of look like it and we cannot go any further yes we can although i feel like this road is kind of uh a dead end or, like, there's not really going to be much down here. Uh, don't even know they were turkeys. Yeah, I'm not really too sure. They were... They resembled turkeys more than anything else to me. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, nothing of significant. What have we got here? Nothing. No, I'm looking for like a place name and I don't see a place name. Maybe we needed to go the other way. Although we've kind of hit like a a proper road, is this? Hopefully something with more clues. If we don't get anything soon, I may go back to the may go back to the start and try again. And move this up here as well. So I can read the Comments a little bit better. Hmm. Still nothing, and it's just a straight long road to. Let's return to start, and where do we go? I think we went that way. Let's just go. I think maybe they got like red heads, so maybe they are Indiki. <laughs> Phone number wasn't blurred? Yeah. We could have called them and been like, where are you? Though I guess, uh, I don't know. I'm not even sure if I'm able to call international numbers or not. But I'm, I'm having to use my phone now for the chat anyway, so. Not really an option. There's nothing around here. I, I think I just need to, like, kind of just travel to find any kind of information that's worth. Right, okay. Bus stop with no place name. Right, um, I guess we carry on going around. Like, surely, oh, here we go. We're leaving a uh, place with no name. <laughs> We're entering a place with no name. Okay, I was hoping that was going to give me a name, but obviously it's a small place. And we just have to continue. I can't believe the... Uh, here we go. Helmoni Helmonietz. Helmonietz. Would that be anywhere near Helm, maybe? Around here. That would be my educated guess so far. I'm imagining a place like this is going to be um, quite hard to find unless we know for sure where it is. 
but I don't see Helmon yet on the map. And I think it's going to be a bit silly of me to look on the map or somewhere like that at the moment. Unless, of course, I came across it, that would be pretty clutch. But the issue is that might be our only. Our only, only hope is the name of the village, Helmon yet, so it's good to know. Alright. It's almost Ukraine. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, Helm. This area is, yeah. Whether, whether Helmon yet is or not, I'm not sure. Because I, like... I'm literally going based off of like the the first five letters of the word. But it's not always the case. All better is. Alright, let's try and get through this long straight road. Oh there's a, there's another one. Another oh I thought it was one place, but it's two. Okonin and Kovalev or Pomyets or something, maybe Pom something. Um, unfortunately, I don't know those, and they're probably also equally as small. And I don't see those either. So, uh, Pomorsky, uh, possibly Pomorsky. I would say, yeah, that's, I, w I would imagine. Kova, Kova level Pomorsky, which Pomorsky is like this, this area somewhere, isn't it? Oh no, sorry, Pomorsky is up here. I mean, it's very possible we could be up here. Helm... Helm something. I can't remember the last of the name now. But again, I... Is that? Oh no, it's not. I thought that was the name of the place. But that's Okonin. That's Okonek. Still don't see it though. But it's very possible we could be up here. E never sounds like E. E yeah, never sounds like E even Kia. Like Kia. Yeah, it's like very small on my mobile, so it's hard for me to like read the chat like um exactly. So it was kind of like a quick read. Um, what am I doing here then? Right. I don't think these places are exactly, I don't see anything up there, but it's Pomorskia. Is that how you say it? Pomorskia? Um, oh, it's more like empty roads. Pomorskia could be kind of a clutch do at this point. Right. Yeah, better, much better. Cool. Appreciate the help. Uh, so. <sighs> Clicking away, trying to get down here. For some reason, it's going really slowly. Seems to be a lot faster when I do that. Right, we're just going until I can. And there's another place, Helmorn, yeah. Remember to tap your R's. Um, sometimes not so easy. 
Uh, by tap, do you mean like the um, rover? Like, kind of like a, I don't know, like a rolled R, but it's like not rolled as such. It's just a little, little r. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I struggle with like the rolled R anyway. We don't have it in the, in English, so when I when I have to like roll my R or like tap my R, sometimes it's quite natural, and other times it's kind of. Uh, why am I going back and forth? And other times it's kind of like a lot harder for me to do it, like it's almost forced. So that's two place names, by the way, that we've had with uh, Bielsk. Bielsk. Two place names with the helm beginning. Um, I think this has been the most. Uh, the the round that's the most um, remote in Poland so far. All the other rounds have been a little bit easier to find. Some kind of. Um, Civilization. There's Helm No. We haven't. Helm Ja. Just be more Scottish. <laughs> yeah, I'm not great at being Scottish. Otherwise, uh, it would be a really good tip. Yeah, okay, I'm a little bit more happy looking to see there's two places with Helm in the name up here. However, I don't see any others at the moment. But then where we started was like such a small place. Kind of right. If we're starting in like such a small place, we've travelled ages, and we uh, haven't yet got anywhere. We could be like in the middle of like somewhere like this. Hmm. Still not a... There's another place. Helm... Helm... Helminis... How, what is that? How is that spelled? Helm... Helminski. There we go. It was hard to read for a second. Uh, so... I mean, I'm kind of assuming we're still in this area. I just, I'm just finding it a little bit difficult to just constantly travel when I'm not really coming across much. It's great to live in calcium carbonate. What are you on about? <laughs> Sorry, my dude. I don't know what I don't know what you're on about. With this um, cryptic talk. I don't even know if that's a place name sign. Uh... Yeah, I'm kind of like thinking maybe I should go back and go another direction. But also, I'm kind of thinking maybe we're close to like something better clues. That is the name of a place. Calcium carbonate. 
or carbonate. Really? I've never heard of that place name. Unless it's like a translation or something, I'm not sure. Whereabouts is it? Okay, yes. Pomorskia. Kovalevo Pomorskia. So you was indeed correct. Let's see if we can find pop this place. Because surely... Morskia? Or maybe surely not. I was just thinking maybe it would be up towards... Towards the sea somewhere. Uh, but... I don't see it. I'm going to put my phone a little bit closer, I think, so I can see the comments a little bit better. Vapno. Vapno. What's Vapno? Is that a place name as well? Well, I've, I've kind of quickly searched the coast. I don't see this place. So, all right, my next tactic is to find other road signs, I guess. Because this place at least looks like it's big enough to have like other road signs, so like Gdansk, for example, Gdynia, um, which are in my head should be the bigger towns that are around Elk, maybe Sopot, somewhere, just so I got an idea of like which kind of direction we're looking. We need that green. Oh, this one hopefully should be what we've been looking for. Where'd they go? Here we go. Toran Oshtin on the 15. Oshtin, which is over this way. Uh, we're on the 15. Which is there, apparently. Toran as well. So this is the 15 to Toran. So we're apparently like down towards like Ino Frotslav or something. Maybe. Let's just have a little look inwards. Uh, or we could even be further, but surely Ino Wrocław would be on the sign as well, maybe. Let's just also have a look at the direction, which would be northwest, which makes sense. Northwest, no, sorry, northwest is that way. Um, or does it make sense? I mean, the 15 only goes there. I mean, does that mean that we're currently on the 15? Because if we are, between this bar, I don't see... don't see where we're currently at, so maybe... Let's have a little look at the 15 down here. Still not seeing, and then all of a sudden the 15 goes where? Down this way? 
we've also got uh, okay it's not so obvious which one is like the main but obviously Olstein would be like further away I imagine Um, and then 15 oh, continues down here as well but would we be this far away without it right we're on a road that's going that direction so oh um, so if we follow the 15 stops there that's where the 15 begins so we won't like we could be for example here but I don't think although have I seen Miroslav or Slav is that meant to be a word the I'm not sure if I've seen If so, we came from this way. Was there a roundabout? I don't think there was. I don't recognize any of these place names in what we've recently seen. So otherwise we could be up to 15, some more. 15 kind of stops, continues here, 12 continues, not there, not there. Maybe I've got my uh, bearings wrong and we're not on this side of the 15. Seems like the 15 stops there. But it needs to go towards Turan, which means it continue up here. So does it just stop for Ino Wrocław and it continues again after Ino Wrocław? Around there. Okay, we're not in Toran. None, none of these roads are really facing the direction that it should be that I'm looking for. Okay, my other alternative, looking at it like this, is that we're on the 15 on the other side of Olsztyn. Where does the 15 go? Lost it. Uh, but it does seem like it stops. Is this still the 15? Huh, weird. Unless there's another 15. down this way somewhere and I'm trying I'm trying to find this place quick so I can uh, go and grab some food but I just do not see I'm gonna have to go further in the map but we're somewhere seemingly on this road
and the direction of the road is going like this. And that's been our biggest sign so far, basically. Okonin Oshtin Okonin See I don't know where Okonin is But it reckons it's on the 15 The other way So I'm assuming this is the 15 And we haven't seen Okonin I kind of forgot to look out for Okonin But um, Following the 15 I don't see a corn in anywhere. Interesting. How did I miss this? I was looking out for this name. Right, we have found where we are. Bielsk is here. Helmione is there. Helmionets. Helmionets. Honestly, it's been a while. I can't remember where we started. But we're in Helmionets. Time to start. <sighs> right, we're about to get to 25,000 finally in Poland on GeoGuessr. So we're right next to this let's go down here straight road for a while we've got a bus stop which may or may not be on the map we've got that thing which is some kind of religious statue that seems to be in most polish villages have i seen another one of those bird nests yeah that's very cool if Poland kind of uh, advocates for birds to nest in like certain areas like that, because it does seem like does seem like they've kind of built it in a way where they can nest quite easily, and I don't know if that's intentional, whether they're more like a pest for the Polish people, but I think it's quite cool. So it's quite a long road. Did we just go past the sign? Because I do want to double check the name of this place, which I believe is. Helmonietz. Which would be there for where the bird was, I think. And then we'll have to go that now. No. Is it quicker to do this? There, where the where that is, go straight and then right and then straight. So we're going to go straight then right. Okay, we're at that bend currently, just there. I think that's the marking on the map for the uh, this thing. Pshistanek over there apparently. And then apparently we're just here. Apparently we're like there. The curry are here. And uh Indiki was the name of the turkeys. We've got Indiki and Kuri, which are in this field. Or maybe 
whatever animal they are, Gwomb, maybe. Uh, they're not Gwomb, but... Um, yeah, I believe the road goes kind of a little bit left, a little bit right. But I guess about as straight as it can go all the way down that way. I'm going to guess. Yes. 5,000 points, which means we've got the 25,000 points. Well done, you have achieved a new medal for Poland. You can track your progress here. Why have I... Oh, yeah. I don't know. Nice. So as I say, I was... Uh, I believe I've been hacked because... Uh, yeah, I've got like level 43 and stuff. But I want to check the map. And that is... Poland. Um... I think I really wanted to look at my map and see the areas that I went to, but such is life, it wouldn't let me. Um, and that was an interesting game. It was a long game. If I come out of this and check how long I've been streaming. For some reason that was moved over a bit as well. It needs to be moved over more. Or maybe not, I don't know. Why is there a black bar there? I have no idea. Hopefully there's no black bar on the um, stream itself on the left-hand side, but ignoring that. It doesn't tell me how long I've been streaming for. What the hell? It just says end stream. Surely it's got to have like a timer or something. Maybe it's on YouTube, but I closed that tab. No, I didn't. Let's go full webcam for a second tab. It doesn't tell me on this either. What the hell? Stream health, stream settings, stream health. Two hours and three minutes. Two hours and three minutes. And we've got ourselves 25,000 points in Poland. We've got our little medal there. We got the medal in the United Kingdom, which we did previously years ago, and uh, and yeah, and that is basically all I wanted to achieve for this particular stream. Um, I've got some other ideas for streams, uh, geography related, maybe some more GeoGuessr, maybe I'll do the Poland map again, but just have fun like looking around other places in Poland. But for now, I believe that's going to be everything because I'm a little bit hungry, and I could do with. Um, basically going to cook myself some eggs and uh and, and whatever else i can find to cook um and also i uh, hopefully get some reading done today as well because i haven't done that in a while and uh yeah with all that out of the way thank you guys for watching the stream let me know what you'd like to see and i'll catch you guys in the next one for another stream or video or whatever uh until then have a good one